Hello, CC family. Uh, this is our week 24. Um, I really can't believe this journey um, is complete for the year. Uh, this is our first year doing CC. It's my ninth year of homeschooling my nine-year-old, um, as well as his sister who is seven. And um, I have been so blessed by um, CC this year and our brand new community. Um, and I am so eager to get back um, in the fall. I'm going to enjoy our spring. I'm going to enjoy our summer, um, but I am very eager to get back uh, to CC this fall. Um, and I have faith that God is going to redeem us uh, from all of this sooner than later um, and make us better in the end. Uh, a couple things just to encourage you and support you. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard about Dr. Siegel's um, hand model of the brain, um, but this is just a reminder, especially when we're all probably living a lot closer um, in our quarters to our families um, and just not having that normal routine that kind of keeps um, our behaviors and our children's behaviors in check. So um, I will link to this in our YouTube in the YouTube um, playlist that I put out for you. Um, but it's just a great way to remember our kids are gonna flip their lids, we're gonna flip our lids during this time frame. And if we can get that, um, that sense before we flip our lids, uh, life is better for all of us. And when we do flip our lids, um, asking our children for forgiveness and um, just modeling behavior for them. Um, I had to ask for forgiveness more than once in these last two and a half weeks. Um, one other thing that I want to remind you is that you are stronger than you know in Christ, um, more capable than you ever dreamed, and you are loved more than you could possibly imagine. This is another one that showed up in my memories, and so I made a copy of it <laughs> and uh, have it, you know, plastic wrapped, uh, just as a memory for us in the house. Um, just another affirmation that we're gonna get through this and that no matter what, we know that um, God is our, our warrior in all of this. He is our protector and our provider and that we are loved so much more than we could ever even imagine. Okay, and this is something that we say a lot in our house, um, but our affirmations, uh, just to remember that God loves you and he thinks you are amazing, that you are kind and an encourager. Um, your mouth speaks kind words, your heart obeys and does what is right. Your mind is smart and you love to learn and you will do your best. And this goes for parents, adults, and children. So, okay, um, just, uh, beginning of class, um, I always pray for my students. Um, they are like family to me, um, and I miss not seeing you guys. So, Lord, I just pray that you um, put your angels around every single um, CC family, um, our local CC family, and those in the world, um, and all that call upon you, Lord God. I pray that you um, protect us, that you give us health, um, and that as we are learning in a new realm um, that you continue to give us the grace and the patience and just the ability to be still um, in your presence, Lord God. I thank you so much for this day that you've given us and I look forward to um, the new experiences that you're going to provide for us and learning opportunities that you're going to provide for us. Um, if anything, homeschooling families are adaptable, and I thank you so much for the flexibility and creativity and adaptability that you give us in um, training our children and teaching our children. And it's in your precious and holy name, Lord God, we give this day to you. Amen. Okay. In that, I found it appropriate to place in my God center that God is our Alpha and Omega. He was at the beginning of our CC school year and he is here at the end of our CC school year. Um, and he is with us always. So I found that fairly appropriate for today. So I'm gonna do my best to remember the songs <laughs> that I have found that work for these. 
Um, it's been a little crazy here this week. So math, we are doing the identity law. So the identity law for addition states a plus zero equals a. The identity law for addition states a plus zero equals a. The identity law for multiplication states a times one equals a. The identity law for multiplication states a times one equals a. So if you like to do hand motions, um, what I've seen is the identity law for addition states a plus zero equals a. The identity law for multiplication states a times one equals a. Okay. So that is the song Polly Wallow Dooley All A Day. I'm sure there's other songs, um, but that's the one that seemed to work well. Okay. An interjection. Wow! No way! How cool is that? Or schnickle fritz! Um, an interjection is a word or phrase used as a strong expression of feeling or emotion. So this one is, and interjection is a word or phrase used as a strong expression of feeling or emotion. An interjection is a word or phrase used as a strong expression of feeling or emotion. That is an interjection. Hey! or yay. Okay. So, song to Down by the Bay. So, history is the song starts at the end. So, demonstrating apartheid was ending. Demonstrating apartheid was ending. In 1994, South African President de Klerk allowed free elections. So you're checking the mark. Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first black president. Demonstrating apartheid was ending. Demonstrating apartheid was ending. Okay. So in 1994, South Africa, so we make like we were doing the Cape of Good Hope. So South Africa, President de Klerk allowed free elections. So you're making the check, you're electing. Free elections, Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first black president demonstrating apartheid was ending, but there was bondage in that. So it was ended. So that is history. So let's move over to science. This is what units are used to measure electricity. Ohms measure resistance. Volts measure voltage. Amps measure current. And watts measure power. So the units used to measure electricity. Ohms measure resistance. Volts measure voltage. Amps measure current and watts measure power. If you would like to sing a song, this one's gonna get stuck in your head, so uh, you can thank Miss, uh, Mrs. McKay for this one. The units used to measure electricity. Ohms measure resistance. Volts measure voltage. And amps measure current, and watts measure power. These are the units that measure electricity. So, it's to How Far I'll Go by in Moana. So, uh, that is also on the G Drive, so or the Google Drive, so you will have access to that. Okay, so we mentioned a little bit about South Africa in um, our history for today. So we're gonna learn a little bit about Southern Africa or the Southern part of the continent of Africa. Um, South Africa is an actual country in Southern Africa, okay? 
So you have South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, Mozambique, and Namibia. Namibia. That's my tongue twister one that I have an issue with. Um, so this is to Joyful Joyful, We Adore Thee. So you have South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, Mozambique, and Namibia. And it's Southern Africa, Find South Africa, Botswana, and Lesotho, Mozambique makes a Y, and Namibia's on the western side. Okay. So it sounds a little bit like this. And you do your Southern Africa, like Cape of Good Hope. So Southern Africa, Southern Africa, find South Africa, Botswana and Lesotho. Mozambique makes a Y, Namibia on the western side. Okay, so you have South Africa and Botswana kind of mirrors or looks very similar to the bottom of South Africa. So Botswana is here. Lesotho is that little dot. Okay, Mozambique makes a Y for the song, that's how it works, but it also looks like it has a beak and a bird. Okay, so Mozambique makes a Y and Namibia on the western side. So that's the western side of South Africa, okay? Or the southern part of Africa, it's right above South Africa on the western side. Okay. So now on to our presidents. We are done with timeline. We ended with, you know, the uh, great toilet paper rush and the uh, coronavirus quarantine, right? So here we go. We have this at home. Ah. Um, my kids love these placemats. So we have a lot of placemats about a lot of different things. And it's great because you can see all the pictures together. Um, if you have, I believe it came in the timeline package but you have all the pictures of all of them um, in a few cards, a good few cards. And I hope that you got your bookmark. Um, this is the words, the lyrics, basically the order of the presidents. Um, and I figured you're gonna be doing lots of reading this summer, I hope. So you've got a bookmark that you can reference the order of the presidents all summer long. So. Or you can write them with your Easter pencil that I sent you. So, um, we're going to go through the president's song. So, U.S. presidents, Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, and Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, and Taylor. Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, and Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, and Hayes, Garfield, Cle Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, and Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. It's for them or him we pray. So, yes, I know it's for him. So we in this household are praying for our leaders um, and for their wisdom through all that's going on. I hope to see all of you as soon as we can. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. God bless, and we'll see you later. Happy 24 weeks of CC. And I'm back because I realized we forgot Latin. The good thing is it's review from last week, right? Memory or little reminder for this is, it is to happy birthday. And don't forget your arrows at our future perfect birthday parties or our future perfect gatherings that it won't matter what happens in them because they will all be perfect because we'll actually get to see each other in the future at our perfect parties. So 
Arrow, Eris, Eret, Aramis, Eretus, Errant. First conjugation, future perfect tense. I hope you have a great week. See you as soon as we can. Love you guys.